Southwest of the city of New Orleans lies Lake Salvador. Home to one of the most robust ecosystems and it's rich in history. You can see the city rearing its head over the swamp on a clear day. Uh, we're back here on the Salvador Wildlife Management Area in St. Charles Parish. We're uh, in an area we call the Netherlands Tract. Uh, I've been coming back here since I was eight years old. So back in the turn of the 20, first part of the 20th century, Louisiana had a large fur industry. And it was a way of life. Families would move to the marsh in houseboats and spend their whole summers out here in this marsh to make their living. It was a way of life. So what they did to access the interior parts of the marsh, they, they dug mazes, a maze of trappers ditches, like ditches through the marshes. And they're really called trappers ditches. Most, most trapping back in those days was done by P-Rog and push pole. People with uh, trappers would uh, push pole one P-Rog and then they would tie a second P-Rog behind the, the, uh, their P-Rog in, in order to haul all of the furs, the, the, Nutra, muskrat. Muskrat was the main uh, target uh, fur bearing animal at that time. And then uh, after the uh, invasive, uh, the, the incident at Avery Island when uh, Nutra was released to the wild, Nutra pelts became high in demand and the Nutra was uh, harvested also. Uh, but a trappers, uh, the trappers ditches they have a Cajun French name, it's called Tranas. It's a small ditch that runs through the marsh, it's called a Tranas. Yep. Nutra rats. Nutra rats are an infamous invasive species in Louisiana. However, a new contender has entered the marsh. If you look down onto the blades of marsh grass, you can see a red clump clinging to them. These are called apple snails. They consume large quantities of vegetation, which threaten the food source of our native fish populations. Despite all of the invasive species in the swamp, it's home to a large population of American alligators, Adult alligators eat nutria and other large animals. That uh, the, uh we went down the old old Rathborn Access Trinos is what they call it. It's a Rathborn Lumber Company. Uh, back in the first part of the 20, 20th century, uh, came back here, bought this land, and uh to harvest cypress trees. There was a cypress lumber industry back here. Actually about a quarter mile from me right there is Louisiana Cypress Canal, which was dug to harvest the cypress trees from this area. Supplying people with resources and timber for decades, Lake Salvador is more than another swamp in southeast Louisiana. It has a rich history that can be seen with the remnants of the past lingering in the swamp. 